In this video, I'm going to show you on how to find the value of variance for group data by using Casio FX570EX. Consider the following data. Now we need to calculate the value of variance. Okay, this is group data. Okay, before we use uh, our calculator to find the value of variance, uh, first step, we need to find uh, the x value, we need to calculate the value of midpoint. Okay, x represent the midpoint value, so this is our midpoint value. Okay, so now in our calculator, we need to reset the setting and the memory. Press shift button, followed by number 9, and then number 3 to reset all, and then press equal, and then press AC button to clear the screen of our calculator. Okay, next, press shift button and then press setup button. This is the setup button. And then press arrow down button and then press number 3 for statistics. Okay, so now we need to choose number 1 because we want to turn on the frequency because in our data value, in our data set, we have the value of frequency. So press number 1 to turn on the frequency. Okay, next step. Press menu button. This is the menu button. And then we need to choose number 6 for statistics function. And then press 1 for variable. Okay. Next step. We need to key in our x and f values inside this calculator. So the first column is for x value. So these are our x, okay, starting with 7.5, so 7.5, and then you need to press equal to save this data. The next one is 12.5, equal, and then 17.5, 22.5, 27 27.5, and the last one is 32.5. Okay, next step. Key in the frequency values. So this is our frequency values. The first value is 19, equal, 16, and then the next one is 10, 3, the last one is, the second last one is 1, and the last one is also 1, equal. Okay, then you can turn on, you can press this AC button to clear the screen. Okay, the next step is we want to obtain the summation values from the calculator. Okay, as we all know, this is the variance formula. Okay. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. Okay, and uh, this one's supposed to be total of f x square. I left out the f uh, terms. This one's supposed to be f x. All right. Okay, so to calculate the variance, we must have the value of total fx squared, total fx, and also n. So we need these three summation values. Okay, and we can obtain these summation values from our calculator. Okay, now press option button, OPTN. Okay, and then press number 2 for variable calculator. Okay, now, the first summation value is summation of fx. Okay, but in our calculator, there is only a summation of x. Okay, and please note that summation of x is equal to summation of fx. Okay, so summation of x is 645. Okay, the next one, we need to obtain the value of summation of fx squared. For summation of fx squared, it is the same as summation of x squared. So in this calculator, summation of x squared is 9,962.5. Okay, then last one is n value. N is equivalent to total of frequency. So in this calculator, press arrow down button. So now, as you can see here, this is the n value. N value is 50. Okay, next step, you need to... Um, Substitute these three values into the formula of variance. Okay, now, in our calculator, we can obtain the final answer of variance. Okay, clear the screen first. 
Okay, press option or PTN button and then press arrow down button and then choose number 2, press number press button 2. Okay. Okay, now you need to choose option number 5. Okay, option number 5 is for SX value. SX value represents sample standard deviation. Okay, number 5, press button 5 and then equal. So this is the sample standard deviation. Okay, to obtain the variance value, you need to square this number. Okay, so in this calculator, you just need to press square. Okay, and then equal. So this is our final answer for variance. 33.5102